Welcome back everyone to the Xamarin Show, Snack Pack Edition. I'm your host, James Montemagno, and today I want to show you how easy it is to get started with the brand new Visual Studio for Mac, whether you're doing ASP.NET Core development, .NET Core development, or Xamarin development for any of your iOS, Android, or Mac applications, all in C-sharp, of course, or F-sharp, whatever you want to do. So how do you get started, and what is Visual Studio for Mac? Well, Visual Studio for Mac is a brand new, super optimized IDE for your Mac to do not only cloud services, but also mobile native client development. So I mentioned a little bit about backend services like ASP.NET Core and your API controllers and all that goodness, um, but also integrations for Azure and Azure Functions, Unity support, a whole bunch of awesome new workloads to get started. So let's jump over to the actual Mac right here to show you how to get started. So where do you begin? Well, of course, you go to visualstudio.com. This is going to show you all the amazing products in the Visual Studio family. And since I'm on a Mac, it shows me that I have Visual Studio for Mac ready to download. Just like Visual Studio 2017, Visual Studio for Mac has a community edition, professional edition, and an enterprise account edition that you can install. You can learn a little bit more about Visual Studio for Mac and all the amazing integrations here. So what I'm going to do is just download Visual Studio for Mac Enterprise because I know I have an MSDN account. So what will happen here is it will download a quick little download. Here we go, a little installer for Visual Studio, and I'm going to hit go. There we go. In just uh, under a second or so, it will download this Visual Studio installer. I'm going to hit click go install. This will verify all the information, but it will also essentially run a nice little startup wizard to get started. So here we go. I'm going to install. I'm going to double tap on the install Visual Studio button. What this will do at this point is very similar to the other, if you've ever installed Visual Studio 2017, is essentially give you a nice way of getting started and install all of the dependencies that you may need. So we'll give it a second here. Here we go. Let's go ahead and delete all these things and we're good. So now what it's going to do is it's going to simply run a little check and see what you have already installed. So you may have already had some older Xamarin installs installed or some other things like .NET Core installed. So it'll kind of give you everything you need. So here it may give you some additions like you might need Xcode to install. We can continue on. But here what we can see is that it'll tell me that, oh, I need uh, Android, iOS, Mac, and, and Visual Studio, and the profiler. So let's go ahead and install and update this application. So now what it'll do is it'll give you a little bit more information about everything that you need to get started. And this will install all the dependencies and everything that you could possibly need to get started in Visual Studio. Now this is going to take a few seconds. So let's go ahead and take a quick break and then we'll jump back over once everything's downloaded and installed. Awesome. So it's installed and I have everything I need. So all I need to do is hit Start Visual Studio. What we'll see is it's actually added a little Visual Studio icon on the bottom and installed some additional things like the Xamarin Profiler, workbooks, and a bunch of things. So what's cool is that all I need to do is log in uh, to Visual Studio for Mac with my same username and password that I would use in my Visual Studio subscription portal. If I've already installed it previously or if you just want to try it out, um, you have a full 30-day trial, so you don't even need to register for an account. Now, I've already logged in and I've installed Visual Studio for Mac in the past. So when I launch it, I actually am already logged into my account and all my projects are there. Now, I can come in into this dropdown and say account and then link it directly to my actual Visual Studio subscription. So we can actually add it in there. That's really awesome. Now, there's some additional things to get started. So I can just hit new project and I have all my multi uh, platform projects for Xamarin Forms, Xamarin Native, some game development iOS, Android, and then .NET Core development right here. Whether I'm creating a console application or a full ASP.NET Core web app, I can simply add it in and then launch it just like I would um, from Visual Studio 2017. There's some unique other workloads such as uh, Mac applications in C Sharp with Xamarin and tvOS. You'll find some additional libraries and other projects there. So if I want to come in and create a .NET standard library, I can add one in either C Sharp or F Sharp. So for Visual Studio for Mac, you can use C Sharp or F Sharp, whatever you would like. Now there's some additional things that I'll point out up here. Uh, we have full Git um, control inside of here. So if you're using Git as your backend, um, some additional tools to monitor your devices or Android emulators. Um, if we come over into our uh, um, Visual Studio, we'll be able to check for updates 
or I can come into Preferences. And, and as I go through this, you'll see that Visual Studio for Mac is a beautiful IDE that is built for the Mac. So if you're already on a Mac, you're going to see really great integrations right there. So inside of here, I have uh, different uh, language packs. So I can pick between Japanese or Korean or Polish. I can also choose between light or dark theme. So um, I'll actually show you, we'll show you the dark theme here in a second. I can do additional information, key bindings, fonts, tasks. I can go in and look at my .NET runtimes that I have installed, SDK managers, debuggers, a whole bunch of different great information there. So let's actually relaunch it into the dark theme now. So we'll go ahead and hit that there. It'll launch back to my desktop and then relaunch uh, Visual Studio right here. So we'll give it a second to boot back up. There we go. Now we have a beautiful dark theme uh, for this application. I could load up additional older projects or everything like that, and you can get full access uh, to being able to write your iOS, Android, and ASP.NET Core applications right here. So here's this nice dark theme. So if you love a dark theme, you're good to go. You can go in, uh, go ahead and open some services, browse all the source code, everything that you know and love. But what's really cool is under Preferences, you not only have just the main visual style, um, but you can come in and look at the text editor, you can look at the markers, color themes. So there's different themes. So as I toggle through, you'll see it update in real time of how you want your text to actually be. You can open up the themes folder, create your own custom themes, or even match it here to Visual Studio, which is very, very nice. Uh, if you like the light theme from Visual Studio, like I do. There's other code snippets that you can add. So you can add your own custom code snippets. It's very powerful. There's source code analysis. As you come in, you can add every single little thing as you want, because everything here is powered by Roslyn. So you're getting that great stuff coming in. You can really specify it really deep. There's additional .NET naming conventions that you can set up, how you like your project structures, everything that you like. So it's really, really super optimized, including the ability to even put in your own different package sources for NuGet. So there you go. In just a few minutes, we've downloaded Visual Studio for Mac, installed all of our iOS, Android, and Windows app um, uh, workloads, Got started with the final new project, logged in, prefer uh, set up all of our preferences, including dark theme, all of our colors in just a few minutes. And I'm getting ready to become an amazing backend and mobile developer using Visual Studio for Mac. Hope you enjoyed the Snack Pack episode of The Xamarin Show. Until next time, I'm James Montemagno, and this has been The Xamarin Show.